Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you guys? Let's see. Ana Maria, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Fine. That's great. That's great. And tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, how was your day? Good. Good. Great. Yes. What did you do today? Okay, so tell me. Hoy sí di mi meta. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. That's good news, right? Estas son buenas noticias. <laughs> yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And what time do you get home? At 4.40. At 4.40? Okay. That's... Oh, that's early. Did you have dinner already? Yes. Okay. What was there for dinner? Tell me. Pupusas. Oh, man. That's bad. Those are bad news. <laughs> well, at least for me, right? Okay, okay, okay. Well, excellent. Nice having you here and welcome to the class. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Always good, always good to have you here. Robert Beltran, my friend, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. I'm super fine today. Okay, so, how's, how's life? You, how's everything? My life. I'm, I'm doing well, so I'm just having the dinner, so I feel super. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. Thankful. If it's yeah. full time, you are like happy. I, I feel super happy, you know, when we have full, so the situations turn to be happy. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Enjoy, my friend. Enjoy. We will talk later, okay? Yeah, thank you, teacher. Uh, thanks to you for being here. Let's see. Now, Roberto Guzman, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, with uh, with hot, so uh, ah, it's... Uh, with, uh, it's very hot. Terribly like. hot. <laughs> Tell me about it. I mean, I went to the gym just by walking. I was sweating. Uh, Terrible. At uh, the gym, no. Uh, up to the head. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Why? So, so very tired with oh. the work, work, the class, and gym. It's so, it's so very it's complicated. Sí, yes. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, I, I go once in a while. Well, actually, I what? go. I go, but I go every day. To be honest with you. Mm, no lo entendí. I go every day. Yo voy todos los días. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I have fun. Me entretengo. Yes, it's good and really, really is good. Yeah, the only day, well, actually I go from Friday to Saturday, from Monday to Saturday, with the exception of uh, Wednesdays. Wednesdays, I don't have enough time. That's the only day that I don't go. What is your routine preferred? Mm, I don't have like a, like a preferred routine. Like right now I'm very focused on, on legs. I'm doing legs. Legs. Me too. Yeah. I like me too okay. and chest. Oh, yeah. The big muscles. Yeah, but in chest is hard for me, you know. <laughs> chest is a little bit harder for me because of my body shape, but I try to. That's my okay. friend. Yeah, with chest, I'm not lifting that much. No lim no levanto mucho. I'm just right now. I'm just with uh, and 
ninety per side. Oh. But in legs, yeah, I'm lifting three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah, in a squats. In oh. la in la um, libre. To me, I like so use um la prensa. La prensa. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that one is easy. I like that one. That one's easy. No, en la, la barra libre también me gustaba bastante. Yeah, you should, well, you should try to go back. Trata de regresar. It's always good. Yeah. Yes. Comenzó. I say comenzó. Okay, okay. Well, welcome to the class, my friend. Nice having you here. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, who else is around? Karen, Karen Patricia, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello teacher, good evening, I'm tired. Okay, okay. You tired? Yes, teacher. Oh, why you do nothing? Si no hace <laughs> nada, you told me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> A heavy day at work. Un día pesado. Muy pesado, teacher. Okay, what time did you finish? At four thirty-three p.m. Okay. What time did you get home? At six six p.m. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. And did you have dinner already? Yes, I know. Todavía no. Otro ratito. No yet. Oh, come on. Más tardecito, teacher. Later. Yes, yes. Okay, well, let's hope you enjoy. Esperemos que disfrute. It's always good. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the class. Bienvenida. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Carla Beatriz Garcia. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, how are you? I guess Carla had trouble. Okay, well, let's see. There's Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hi. How are you? I am fine. Sorry, teacher. Okay, okay. There's Carla back again. <laughs> no, no problem, Carla. No problem. Let's see. Let's Me see. La cámara porque... <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Let's see. So, Catherine, what have you done? ¿Qué ha hecho? Eh... Working, 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 and working. <laughs> working, working. En serio, no he tenido descanso. For real? That's sí. bad. Ya mis bracitos flaculentos están débiles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'll try to believe you. Le vamos a tratar de creer. <laughs> Qué maldad. 
Eh, well, we'll try at least that's something. Yes, algo. No voy a llevar a la iglesia. What for? <laughs> ¿Para qué me voy a quemar? No... <laughs> I'll burn. Para que no sea tan malvado. No way, Jose. You see, you got bad feelings towards me. Usted me tiene malos sentimientos. <laughs> you want me to burn there. Unacceptable. <laughs> Pero siempre con una sonrisa va. Of course, of course. Always, always, all the time, all the time. Yes. Hey. Well, thank you, Catherine. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Jaime, hello, Jaime, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Um, the same as usual. The same as usual. Same old story. Same old story. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> what can we do, right? Uh, um, here a company is my coffee. Okay, the cup of coffee. Yeah. It's very hot, but um, the coffee is mandatory. Yeah, of course, of course. That's very important. <laughs> yeah. It's a very important part of the day. I mean, it's necessary. Yes, I totally agree with you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Hi, man. Nice having you here and welcome. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Let's see, guys. Give me just one second. Okay. Sandra, Sandra Alvarado, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm good, very good. How was your day? Mm, bastante trabajo <laughs> saturado pero hoy es viernes oh yeah yeah today is Friday Friday it's Friday yeah it's a good day no and tomorrow you have a short day yes that's cool what time do you finish Sorry. What time do you finish tomorrow? Uh, At what uh, time do you finish working? At the 1 p.m. Okay, and you get home on Saturdays? Yes. At what time do you get home? ¿A qué hora llega a casa? Mm. Uh, 2 p.m. Okay. You got time. And Sunday not working, right? No. Okay, well, that's good. Cool. Let's hope you enjoy your weekend. Welcome to the class, miss. Bienvenida. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Present. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. 
Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Presente, Chen. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present, teacher. Xiomar Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present, teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. I'm here. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Thank you, Robert. Present teacher. Thank you, Jaime. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardón Hernández. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. José Edwin Valle Franco. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Okay, perfect. Okay, today we are going to make the, 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 the greeting shorter. We have many things to cover, but I still got a couple of minutes. So let's see. Jose Edwin. Hello, mister. How are you? Hello. Fine. Everything's fine. That's great. That's great. Excellent. I'd like to hear that. Me agrada And tell me, how was your day, mister? So, so, eh, son, son busy. Visit? Okay, okay, well. But, um, happy, but, eh, uh, because today is Friday. Friday, Friday yes. Today's Friday. It's a beautiful Friday. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Well, it's good to have you here. What time did you get home? I could have llegado a casa. What today time did you get home? Yes. Today I arrived uh, to the uh, by 15. 5.15, that's early. That's cool. Yes. 
That's great. So you have time to relax and everything. Uh, so so, I I go. I was go to my wife. Uh, with my wife to buy. Oh, you went shopping. Yes. Okay. Oh, it was payday. It was payday. For the pago. Yes. <coughs> we okay. uh, yes. every uh, Thursday receive receiving receiving uh, we pay payment. Okay, that's nice. Okay, well, it's good, it's good, excellent. Jose Edwin, welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, well, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ana Consuelo, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Very good. Okay, how was your day? Um, My squatting. I'm sorry? Most for Oh, a, a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, you can say it like that. You can say a lot of work. Let me text it for you. You can, you can say a lot of work. A lot of work. Puede decir a lot of work. It's like this. A lot of work. Mucho trabajo. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, but tomorrow is Saturday, so it's it's the weekend already. You can rest. Do you rest on the weekends? Descansa los fines de semana? I don't know. Studying. Trabaja los fines de semana. Oh, you study. Oh, that's nice. What do you study? Yes. Uh, Braille. I'm sorry? Braille. Oh, really? Yes. Well, good for you. Welcome to the class, miss. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. Still got time for one more. Let's see who else is around here. Hey, David, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, mister? Uh, teacher, I'm um, a bad day. Uh, the, uh, the hall today busy. Busy? In the, busy, yeah. Uh, I went my son to school in the early morning and after and the, in the doctor. Como dice cita? Appointment, 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 yes. Appointment. Remember, uh, that's appointment. with the doctor. Recuérdese, la cita con el médico es appointment. Okay. Well, la cita con a girl is date. In after, um, in the town, town, town hall, town hall, sí es, alcaldía. City hall. City hall. 
Yeah, see the city hall, hall in in ah, the, ah. the delay for war. No lunch. <laughs> muy tarde, ya ni fui a almorzar. Really? Ouch, sí, that's pero... bad, that's bad. But did you eat already? Did yeah. you eat something already? ¿Ya comió algo? Yes, uh, no, no más vine. I'm sorry? Sí, al venir. No más okay. Vine. As soon as I arrive. As soon as I arrive. Okay, give me just 30 seconds, guys. Thank you, David. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Well, thank you guys. Let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, welcome all of you. It's just to let you know that uh, the conversation part, we are going to move it the, mostly to the end of the class because we have some topics to cover today. We're going to talk about gerunds. That's going to be sure, but I need also to explain a little bit about passive voice. The passive voice, I'm going to explain it in two classes, today and Monday. And, but it's something that we need to be like a completely clear. So I will take time and I need you to please be, be very attentive. And thanks all of you to the ones who sent me the homework. Gracias a los que me enviaron la tarea. I was checking already. Uh, Robert, I was checking last night. As soon as the class finishes, some others of you send it today. That's great. Excellent. I really appreciate it because it helps me to see how can I help you. Okay. And very well, very well job. Very well job. A few little mistakes, but that's normal. Okay. So let's continue. Let's see. First of all, we're going to work with the manual. We got a little something, a conversation from the manual. Okay, the conversation is a little bit uh, long. And I need you to first just listen, okay? Right now, I need you just to listen to me. I'm going to pronounce for you, okay? Just listening. If you have your manual, close it. Close it for a second. Just focus on listening. And the conversation goes like this. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Now, listen again, please. Remember, just listening. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Now, listen and repeat after me, okay? Remember, we are not reading. If you got the manual, close it. Si tiene el manual, ciérrelo. Just listen and repeat. Hi, Roxana. 
Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. Welcome to, Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. My name, My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial. I'm the industrial. Safety engineer. Safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety for keeping the safety of the plan. Of the plan. I see. I see. I see. I'll be part. I'll be part. I'll. 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 I'll be part. I'll be part. be part of the maintenance department. Of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible? Will I be, I be responsible? You? 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 Great. 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 Our departments. Our departments. Our departments. Work together. Work together. Work together. But the maintenance chief. The maintenance chief is in charge. He is in charge of directing your department. Of directing your department. You'll be responsible. You'll be responsible to him. To him. To him. Thank you, Jessica. Thank, Thank you, Jessica. May I call you? May I call you? If I need help? If I need help? Sure. 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 Okay. Thank you, sure. Guys, let me share with you. Okay, let's see. Now, just listen and read. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to make it a little bit faster today. You're gonna work in a small group, so three members, let's see. <laughs> Give me just one second, oh. Okay, groups are ready. Jump in, please. Just three minutes to practice.
Safety. 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 Safety group. Safety. 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 The safety of the plan. Okay, sweetie, 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 I'm sorry. Just a little second. Safety. 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 safety of, of la F después de la O. En este caso suena como que fuera una V. Of the plant. Safety of, of the plant. Safety of the plant. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Okay. ¿Quién seguía? Craig, Craig, o uh, World Department, World, to get Ma. Ma. the maintaining it, I was. Chief is in charge of direction your department you will be responsible to him thank you jessica may i call you is i need help sure no sé cómo se dice sure 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 okay I see is the part of the main maintenance maintenance maintenance, maintenance. Yep. will I be responsible to you <coughs> great our department's board como se dice teacher together Together. Together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of <laughs> directing Ay. your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. My e call you if. I know you. Hello, guys. You're practicing? Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. In this case, you can use that expression. Sure. I I ask you, hey, are you practicing? And you can tell me, sure, we are. Sure. Instead sure. of just saying yes, it's a you can say sure and it's acceptable. Okay, teacher. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, Inicio. Guillermo. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to the two R E X. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Safety. Safety. Sa safety. Safety. Safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I am being part of the maintenance department will i be responsible to you great our department work together but the maintenance chief 
is in charge of the directing directing your department you'll be responsible to him thank you thank you jessica my i call you i if i need help sure okay. Inici inicias si quieres en esta otra ronda uh -huh. hi roxana there's karen castillo here Oh. Hola. She's very quiet. Ah. No. Karen. <laughs> okay, Karen. It's your turn. Sixty seconds, guys, sixty seconds. Okay, we're just waiting. Vamos a esperar. ¿Qué pasó hoy? Qué calor. Hay que poner el ventilador. Súper caliente, viejito. Ok, It's guys. super hot over here. It's hot everywhere. Ok, guys, let's see. Ana María Rivas Durán en José Edwin. ¿Quién empieza? <laughs> ok, Ana María, you start. Y está. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. 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 Jose Edwin. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the planet. 
plank. I plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance uh, department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department works together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Perfect. Thank you very much. Sandra Alvarado and Karen Castillo. ¿Quién comienza? Okay, empiezo. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, Karen, you can start. Hi, Roxana. Welcome, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the planes. I see I be part of the maintenance department. Department will I be responsible to you. Responsible. Responsible. Great. Our departments work together about the maintenance chef if in the chance of directing your department. You be responsible responsible is in not responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call, I call you? May I call you? May I call you if I need help? Sure. Perfect. Thank you very much. Guillermo Josué and Jaime Enrique. Okay, me start. Uh, Guillermo Josué, you start. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to the. Uh, my Our, is Jessica. Our, Our is, is my name is Jessica, and they industrial safe energy. Thank you. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keep, keeping the safe of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to, to you? Great. Great. Our department work to help but the maintaining seat is changer of directing your department you be responsible to it. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? I'm sure. Perfect, thank you. Just remember, Guillermo, safety engineer, safety engineer. Yeah. Okay, safety, safety engineer. Yep. Brenda Diaz and Fatima Laura. Safety, safety. ¿Quién empieza? Uh, Brenda, you start. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to... R -E -X. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial. 
Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for the safety on the ground. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments were. So, together, 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 good thing, pan maintenance, chef in the show, all kids, your department, you be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Ana Consuelo and Carla Beatriz. Hello. Okay. Uh, Ana Consuelo, you start. Hi, Rosana. Welcome to RTX. My name is Jessica, in the industrial safety engineer. Thanks. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Right. Our department work together, but the maintenance is the charge of directing your department to be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, perfect. Just remember, I am contracted. I'm. I'm the industrial. Okay, let's see. Ruth Margot and Xiomara Elizabeth, please. Okay. Ruth, you start. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to RIX. My name is Jessica. I, I'm the no. industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. Uh, I build. No. I will be. I be part of the of the maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance department. Will I be responsible? Do you? Right. Our department work together, but the maintenance chef is charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Perfect. Thank you. Karen Patricia and Walter Reyes. Okay, teacher. Uh, Karen, you start. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the injured in I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the man maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you? It's sure. I need, I need help. Sure. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. Gabriela Vázquez and Roberto Guzmán. ¿Quién empieza? Yo. Eh, Gabriela, you start. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. 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 Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the keeping the safety of the plane. I see. I'll be a part of the maintenance department. I will I be responsible responsible to you. Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance team is in charge of directing your department. You be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, perfect. Is in charge. Is in charge. What I mean in charge, teacher? Está a cargo. Okay. David Armando and Sonia Guadalupe. Okay. Okay. Uh, David, you start. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together with the maintenance chief in charge on directing you department. You be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I tell you if I need I need help? Sure. Perfect, thank you. Robert Beltran. Okay. You start. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Right. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Perfect. Now I start, Robert. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to REX. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Perfect, Robert. Thank you. Okay. Well, guys, believe it or not, we got ourselves the second attendance. Let me get it. Let me just... Get rid of this. 
Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. I hear. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Rodríguez Guzmán. Guzmán Present. Rodríguez, I'm sorry. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Thank you, Robert. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present teacher. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Víctor Alberto teacher. Trujillo Cruz. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Present. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Let me share with you. I got a little something here. Okay, well, let me show you. Today we are going to talk about gerunds and passive voice. Okay. Gerund. What is the gerund? Okay. The gerund is the verb in ing form. El gerundio es un verbo en I, con final ing. Okay? Simple. It can be used as a noun. Puede ser un nombre, un subject or object of a sentence. Puede ser el sujeto o el objeto de una oración. Look at the example. Eating outside makes me feel good. Eating outside, in this case, this is the subject, eating outside. El verbo se entiende en su forma simple, como que fuera infinitivo. Comer, comer fuera. Ok, eating outside. Makes me feel good. This is the verb. Este es el verbo principal, makes. You see? Happiness is getting up late and not going to work. Usually when it's the object, comes after the verb be. Normalmente cuando es el objeto viene exactamente después del verbo principal. Happiness is getting up late and not going to work. La felicidad es levantarse tarde. You see, the verb is being used in the infinitive, in the simple base form. Se entiende como su forma base. Now, the gerund, it comes after some verbs. También viene a partir Después de algunos verbos. Look like the verb love. I love having. Me encanta tener. Ok. Having breakfast in bed. It can also come after prepositions. But let's make a small pause here. Ok. When it comes after verbs. The verbs most usually comes after. Los verbos después de los cuales viene normalmente. Uh, love, 
hate, go, start, finish, enjoy. Most usually comes after those verbs. I love playing soccer. Catherine hates going to church. You see, hates going. Uh, sometimes Robert go swimming with his son. Sometimes Robert goes swimming. You see, after goes swimming. We need to start speaking more in class. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sandra always finishes working late. Monica enjoys combing her hair. I saw her. Okay. Enjoys combing or brushing. You see? After enjoy, a verb in ing. That's quite normal. Después de estos verbos es muy normal que venga. Si ponemos otro verbo, que sea en ing. Ok. Questions? Preguntas? Up to here? Hasta este momento? Eh, una pregunta, teacher. Sí, entonces, si pusiéramos otro verbo en forma normal, que no le pusiéramos ing, estaría mal. Yeah, would be wrong. Look at this sentence. I enjoy work. That's not correct. Eso no es correcto. I enjoy, si voy a poner un verbo, working. I enjoy dancing. I love dancing salsa. You see? I hate, I hate listening to let's see I hate listening to reggaeton yeah reggaeton <laughs> I'm too old for that it's true no ah oh, Carla okay shall I continue continue teacher eso quiere decir que el primero que escribió está malo y el segundo está bueno yes exactly okay ya me he perdido Okay, it also comes after prepositions. This is the one that we are going to focus on. En este nos vamos a enfocar, okay? After prepositions. Look, I am thinking of, I am thinking of buying, estoy pensando en comprar. You see, of buying a new car. Okay, this is for later. Esto es para luego, más tardecito. Ok, let's see. Let me share again, but now I'm going to share with you from the manual. Ok. We're going to go to the manual to page number 14. Page 14 in the manual, that's the Insafer manual, okay? How to use ING forms after prepositions. Okay. You see, we use a verb plus ING after prepositions like for, después de for, or of, or después de of, in expressions as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to. You see? Después de estas expresiones. Okay. After this expressions you use the verb in ing and there's something very interesting here y aquí hay algo muy interesante usually after the after two you got the verb in infinitive 
Normalmente después de tú tenemos el verbo en infinitivo. But in this case, committed to and dedicated to, you can use gerund or infinitive. Aquí puede utilizar usted el gerundio o el infinitivo. The verb can be ing or normal. Después de estas. Committed to, dedicated to. Pero estoy hablando de toda la expresión. Después de esta expresión. Usually when you get just the word to, normalmente cuando tenemos la partícula to, el verbo va en su forma simple. No ing, no ing. With these expressions specifically, ¿ok? Specifically these expressions. You use it to say who you report to. To say who you report to, you use be responsible to. Be accountable to. Esto es a quien usted se le reporta. Ok. To talk about your responsibilities, you use be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. Para hablar acerca de sus responsabilidades, utilizamos esto, ser responsable de, be in charge of, estar a cargo de. Ok. Now, the exercise is very interesting. You need to, we are talking about Rex. Okay, complete the questions below with the appropriate verb form. Then read the information in Rex's organizational chart to answer the questions. Check answers with a partner. Okay, guys. Now, here you got two activities. Okay, dos actividades. What are we going to do? Okay, who is responsible for? We need to get supervised. Okay, how do we get it? Oh, responsible for. Supervising. If the verb ends in E, you all you erase the E and I'll ing. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Okay. Then we need to go get the answer. Let's see, machine operators. Who is responsible of supervising them? Ah, oh, the supervisor. So here you are going to write. The supervisor. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Answer the first with the verb in the ing form and then answer the second one according to the chart. Okay, this is an organizational chart, an organigrama. Okay, questions about the activity to develop, guys? Preguntas con la actividad a realizar? No, okay. Now I'm saying you to the groups. But groups now are gonna be a little bit uh, bigger, okay? Okay, guys, group created, jump in. Okay. Uh -huh. What did you understand? ¿Qué entendió? <laughs> Mi humilde aporte que el verbo a conjugar es el que está encerrado yes. en pareja. Pero en, en, en un lado se va a conjugar con el ing y en el otro lado... En the next, no. En el otro van a contestar la pregunta. Oh. Primero complementó la pregunta. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? ¿Quién está a cargo de supervisar los operadores? El supervisor. Y usted se va al organigrama y ahí dice que arriba de ellos está el supervisor. El supervisor. Ok. 
Okay. Okay, guys, have fun. Diviértanse. <laughs> okay. Ay. Bueno, la, la uno ya estuvo, entonces. Um, number two. Who is in church? Charge. In, in charge of Oh, in, in our case is a uh, auditors Sí, ¿verdad? Hello, 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 hello. Hola. En nuestro caso serían los auditores. Que no el que está en el paréntesis se va a usar. No, a o ver, sea, a ver, a ver, a ver. Es, mire, sí, el en verbo. En paréntesis le aparece el verbo. Ajá. El verbo que usted va a poner en la primera línea punteada. Ajá. Cuando usted che, ya tiene che, eso, quién? completó una pregunta. Ahora, lee usted la pregunta y la contesta. ¿En base a qué? Al organigrama que tiene arriba. En base a los cuadritos que tiene arriba. Entonces, dice la segunda. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? ¿Quién está a cargo de revisar the quality? Comience a ver. En este caso, según el diagrama, ¿quién es? Ah, the quality control, control inspector. inspector. Él ah, está en ca a cargo de ver. Entonces, sería check-in. En, en el segundo check-in y ya la respuesta es eh, quality, quality control inspector. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ahora sí. Sí, así. Ok, eh, sería entonces check-in. Check-in, sí. Check-in. Eh, sería de quality quality ajá uh -huh, de quality sí. control okay. la segunda sería la, la primera que está en, en el cuadrito quality control inspector sí sí la tercera. La tercera sería repairing. Sí, ¿verdad? Repairing. Sí. The machine sería repairing. Maintenance. Maintenance person. Supongo que solo se le agrega el ING como en el ejemplo sí. que él dio. Ajá, en la, en la primera. Ajá. En la primera, ya en la, en la respuesta se le pone el, lo que tenemos en el recuadro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero, ¿qué sería ahí? Y para responder las preguntas sería. Machín Operero. No. No, porque es reparar. Ese es opera, operador. Ajá. O es maintenance. No, no sé. Maintenance. maintenance chief. ¿Qué es maintenance chief? Chief, no sé qué. Otro es mantenimiento. <risa> no sé. Sí, tendría que ser maintenance chief. Es como chief, me imagino que es como, como el guardián. Pero en la que sigue dice maintenance personal. Ajá, o sea, el personal de, de mantenimiento. Humanos. Entonces sería ahí esa. Mm, ¿O no? No, 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 porque está hablando de máquinas. Sería pero maintenance chief. chief. Pero chief es jefe de mantenimiento. Ah, no. vaya, entonces no. No. Porque solo es el jefe y lo, lo revisan los que están a cargo. De... 
Sería la entonces... jefe tiene a cargo. Eh, Sería el personal, personal de mantenimiento, la, la que está debajo, la que está sí. abajo. Sí, tiene razón. Claro. Department. Sales, sales, sales department. Uh, oh, sí. Sales. Sales. Sí. sí. En la segunda. Comprando. ¿Quién es el responsable para checking. reportar? Of checking the quality products. Oh, which one are you? ¿En cuál van? And number three. Number three. Who is responsible for repairing? El verbo que está en paréntesis, repair, no, reparar. Reparar los problemas de máquina. Yes. Sería el jefe de mantenimiento. No, el, el encargado de reparar. No, no es el... maintenance personal. Personal. Machine. Machine. Machine operator. Maintenance yes. personal. Maintenance personal. Maintenance personal. Thank you, teacher. Oh, no, it's Catherine and me helping. Y yo ayudándole. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Pero puede ayudar. <risa> ya está en problema este grupo, dijo el teacher. Teacher. Yes. Este, tengo una duda. Tell me. Este, en todas, como estaba hablando de eso, de por y off, de eso sí no entendí muy bien, pero, pero me daba pena ahí pronto. Después del off y del for, usted va a poner un verbo en ing. Ah, ya, yeah. que son esos que están ahí, ¿verdad? Yep. Ok, gracias. Entonces la cuarta sería Sejin. ¿Eh? Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? The products. O las cosas difíciles nos dejan. No va. <risa> Algo fácil nos hubiera que como poner el abecedario <risa> hasta ahí a plazo <risa> de vender los productos. Who is comfortable? ¿Quién es el responsable de vender los productos? La cuatro en la cuatro. Mami, me puse camisa. Mami. Esa es mi buena, nunca más. Llévese. Creo que ese sería el No, dice... that's a language I never understand. Ese lenguaje sí no lo entiendo yo. <laughs> Baby's language. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Cool. En venta, dice. No sé, los venta. Es el responsable vendiendo los productos. ¿Quién es el responsable de For vender los productos? Yeah. Who is responsible, man? It's too small. Es muy chiquito, no más grande. Uh -huh. Oh, ah, that's beautiful. Oh, that's easy, you see? On your right. Ve a la derecha, no, pero tiene que ver el chart. Tiene que ver el cuadro. Sales department. Ve a la derecha, arriba. Sales department. Who is in charge of selling the products? Sales department. 
sales department. Yes. Míralo. Operario. Ahí fue que ahí yo decía, yo para mí era supervisor, pero ajá. Como ya era de todo. Sí. No, pero ajá, correcto. Yo creo que ahí deberíamos de cambiarla. Sí, which one, which one? ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál, cuál? cuál? Así sí, ayudar a los ensambladores. Who is in ah, charge of assist the assemblers? Yes. Okay, let's see. ¿Dónde están los assemblers? Oh. For me, it's supervisor. Sí. Who is in charge of assisting? ¿Quién les ayuda? Supervisor. The, uh, Could be the supervisor, uh, the machine operators. The jefe inmediato. But in this case, hmm, it's very interesting. Machine operator. Okay. In this the case, who is in one? charge of assisting the assemblers? Yes, the supervisor. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yo pensé que quedaría, ¿verdad? Sí, supervisor. Supervisor y en el otro quedaría... De general manager. ¿eh? No sé. Y era ahí donde teníamos que formar ¿no? ¿Dónde? Number six, who is accountable for managing the whole operation? ¿Quién es el que... Eh, responsable y que da las cuentas de, de organizar, de manejar toda la operación. General Manager. Exacto. Yes. Teacher, I had a question. Yes, mister. What is the difference uh, between responsible and accountable? It's the same. Okay, no, porque ser responsable es una cosa y rendir cuenta de algo es la otra. Es otra. Be accountable que... es dar cuentas de algo. Okay. Pero al traducirlo se escucha lo igual, ¿verdad? Could be, yes. Como que la, la actividad es lo que le da la, la, la diferencia. Yep. Ok. Ok. Let me go check the rest of the groups. Vamos a ir a revisar los otros grupos a ver si ya terminaron. Just two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Hurry up.
Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see, let's see, guys. Let's do this. Vamos a hacer esto. I know that you have a little bit of fun with this exercise, right? And the next topic is very important. So we are going to go fast. Vamos a ir rápido con este porque el otro tema es un poquito complejo, ¿sí? Give me just one second. Okay. Here it is. Here we go. Okay. Now we're going to fill in. Okay. Number one was done already, right? El número uno ya lo teníamos. Who is responsible for supervising The machine operators. Who was it? Quién era? The supervisor. The supervisor. The supervisor. Perfect. Supervisor. Now number two. Okay, guys. Number two. Who is in Check. charge of? Check. Checking. 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 The quality of the products. Who is in charge of? Checking the quality of the products. Who is in charge? Quality inspector. Okay. Quality control, control inspector. inspector. Perfect. Thank you very much. Number three, who is responsible for? Preparing. 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 Repairing the problems of the machines. Maintenance personnel. Maintenance personnel. Okay, perfect. Maintenance personnel. Excellent. Number four. Who is accountable for? Selling. Yeah, yeah. Who's accountable? Who's accountable for selling the products? Uh, the sales department. department. Sales department. Perfect. The sales department. Okay, number five. Who is in charge of? Assisting. Assisting. assisting assisting who is in charge of assisting the assemblers they supervise okay. the supervisor again yes the supervisor because remember in charge of a cargo de that means that it's somebody who's above es alguien que está por encima right that's why it's the supervisor. Who is accountable for number six? Managing. 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 Perfect. Managing the whole operation. Who is in charge of that? The general manager. General manager. General manager. Okay. General <laughs> manager. Excellent. General manager. Okay, guys, now let's see. Uh, give me just one second. Walter Reyes, read number one. Leon, number uno. Who is Who is the responsible? Uh, supervision. Okay, perfect, thank you. Number two, Guillermo Josue, please read it. Who is chair of checking quality control expert? 
Okay. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? Quality control inspector. Okay. Quality. Ana Consuelo, number three. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines maintenance personnel? Okay, the problems of the machines, maintenance personnel. Excellent. Carla Beatriz, <clears throat> number four. Who is accountable for sealing the product, the sales department? Sales department, sales, sales department. department. Sales department. Okay, perfect. Robert Beltran, number five. Who is accountable for managing the whole operation? The general manager. Okay, that was number six. Thank you very much. And let's see. Jaime, I'm number sorry. five. No problem, no problem. That's cool. <clears throat> Selling. Oh, no, no. Excuse me, excuse me. Number Who five. Who is in charge? Yes. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers, the supervisor. Okay. Just remember, Jaime, you pronounce it, everything okay, but this. Todo, todo me lo pronunció bien con la excepción de esto. Before a vowel is D. D. Before a consonant is D. D. Okay? D. Yes. The assemblers, the supervisor. The supervisor. D. Okay. D. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me repeat. Let me read again for you. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? The supervisor. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? The quality <coughs> control inspector. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Maintenance personnel. Who is accountable for selling the products? The sales department. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? The supervisor. Who is accountable for managing the whole operation? General manager. Okay, guys. Questions about this exercise? No? Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now we go back to the presentation. To the presentation. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, I need to do this. Perfect. Okay, the passive voice. We're going to check it out in simple present and simple past. Okay. Mary designs a beautiful dress. Mary diseña un vestido bello. Okay, guys, here I am so sorry. En este tema me van a disculpar. I will be switching for moments into Spanish. Por instante voy a ir cambiando al español. Eh, let me... Uh, 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 okay. Okay, guys, let's go back. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. I was here. Now... When we talk about the passive voice, I need to explain a little something before. Tengo que explicarles algo antes. Eh, in Spanish, actually, the passive voice appeared like uh, 20 years ago, hasta hace unos 20 años, se comenzó a usar en español. It is not originally from Spanish. It belongs to French and English. Pertenece al inglés y al francés. Okay, it's a different way of thinking. Es una manera distinta de pensar. But we are going to make it simple. Vamos a tratar de simplificarlo. Mary designs a beautiful dress. Mary diseña un beautiful dress, un vestido hermoso. Okay. A beautiful dress is designed by Mary. Un vestido hermoso es diseñado por Mary. Okay. Si se fijan, acá cambió. Usually in the active voice, in the, we got here two different things. Aquí tenemos dos cosas distintas. Something that is called active voice and something that is called 
passive voice. Ok. Esto es voz activa. This is voz pasiva. What's that? ¿Qué es eso? Ok. Active voice is when the when the action focus on who performs the action. Cuando la oración se enfoca en quién desarrolla la acción. Mary designs. ¿Quién diseña? Mary. Ok. ¿Qué diseña? Ah, a beautiful dress. En la voz pasiva, la atención recae sobre lo que es afectado por el verbo. ¿Ok? Un vestido hermoso es diseñado por Mary. ¿Ok? Look. The beautiful dress becomes the subject. Esto que está después del verbo se conoce como un objeto. El objeto es quien recibe la acción. ¿Sí? Como por ejemplo, uh, yo les digo, Mónica, Mónica hits me. ¿Ok? Mónica me golpeó. Porque dice que yo mucho la molesto. You no, know? she's violent. Es eh, violenta. Poor me. Ok. Ok. The subject, el sujeto, Mónica. The action, la acción, hit, golpear. ¿Quién recibe la acción? Me. Entonces yo soy el objeto. ¿Sí? Mónica hits me with a stone. Mónica me golpea con una piedra. Ouch. Es que violenta. Ok. Now. Subject. Mónica. Action. Hit. ¿Quién? Oh, a mí, ¿verdad? Objeto directo. ¿Con qué? ¿O por quién? Ah, con una piedra. Objeto indirecto. Los objetos, en la voz pasiva, se convierten en sujeto de la voz. Los objetos de la voz activa se convierten en sujetos de la voz pasiva. Ok, ¿y la piedra? ¿Cómo podría ser un sujeto? Ah, ok. Me llevan al doctor, llevo la cabeza rajada, ¿verdad? Y pregunta al médico, ¿y qué le pasó? Ah, una piedra le fue lanzada, ¿verdad? ¿Por quién? Ah, por Mónica. Yo sí, el objeto se convirtió en sujeto. Let's go back. Vamos a ir despacio, ¿ok? If we don't finish because of the time, don't worry. On Monday, we retake it. No se sorry, preocupen. Sorry, sorry, ¿Sí? una consulta. Nos está compartiendo pantalla ahorita. No, ahorita no. Ah, no. Ahorita estoy haciendo malabares. Ok. I'm going to be jumping. Voy estoy saltando. En la nube. No se preocupe. Igual, si no lo termino de explicar ahora, yo lo continúo el lunes, ¿ok? Este tema lo podemos dejar en continue en yo acomodo la, la, el lesson plan para que lo podamos cubrir tranquilamente. Ok, we go back to the presentation. Now, look, the subject, el sujeto se vino al final. A beautiful dress is designed by Mary. Lo que sucede es que en la voz pasiva ya no es tan importante el sujeto, ya no es tan importante quién hizo la acción, sino quién la recibió. La acción fue diseñar. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es importante? Ah, que se diseñó un bello vestido. ¿Por quién? Por Mary. Esto se le llama el, el agente. El sujeto de la voz activa se convierte en agente de la voz pasiva. Ok. Mary designs a beautiful dress. In simple present. En el presente simple, we need, si se fijan, a beautiful dress is el verbo ser o estar. Es un auxiliar. Un bello vestido es diseñado por Mary. El verbo ser o estar se convirtió en un auxiliar en este caso. Luego tenemos un verbo. This verb, ok, I will stop the presentation. That verb is in past participle. Ese verbo está en pasado participio. Ok. Now, usted me dice, ¿qué es eso? Right? Ok, los verbos tienen bueno, los tiempos verbales. Hay formas que es afirmativo, negativo, interrogativo. ¿Ok? Esas son las formas de la oración. 
Ahora bien, el verbo puede estar en su forma, el verbo como tal, solo el verbo puede estar en su forma simple. Yo les he mencionado la forma simple o la forma base, ¿verdad? Les he repetido mucho eso, la forma simple la forma base. Puede estar en eso, que es el infinitivo. To play, to dance, to work. Esa es la forma base. Puede estar in past, en pasado. Gramaticalmente le dicen pasado, le dicen pretérito en español. También se conoce como pretérito, lo que nosotros llamamos pasado, ¿ok? Puede estar en present participle. In present participle is with the ing. We just saw it for the gerund, right? That's the present participle with ing. And also in past participle. Puede estar en presente participio, que es con el ing, y también en pasado participio. Now, the past participle, it's for regular verbs, is simple. En inglés usted tiene verbos regulares e irregulares. For regular verbs, the past participle is just with ed. El, ver, el pasado participio de los verbos regulares se forma con ed. Solo le agregamos ed. Play, played. Dance, danced. Work, worked. ¿Ok? Eso ya lo hemos visto. Now, for irregular verbs, los verbos irregulares tienen una forma propia. Como por ejemplo, go, base form. La forma base, present, go. Went, forma pasado. Gone, past participle. Ok. Remember, you have. Ok, hold on, hold on. We have go. Present. Went. Past. Gone, past participle. Esta forma es la que estamos utilizando. ¿Ok? In regular verbs, that's not a problem. Para los verbos regulares no es un problema. Look, play, played, played. You see, very simple. But, Irregular verbs, come, came, come. Ah, oh, that's a problem. Aquí tenemos un lío. So, with irregular verbs, we need to memorize them. Con los verbos irregulares hay que memorizarlos. Ok. I'll send you a list. Le voy a enviar un listado. That's going to make your life easier. Eso le va a hacer la vida más fácil. Ok. I'll send you a list. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Up to here, recordemos. Tenemos varias cosas que comprender. Before getting into the passive voice. And I will get them like, like in order for you. Primero, usted tiene que entender que hay verbos en presente, pasado, pasado, participio. Okay. Usted tiene que entender que we have objects. Una oración tiene un objeto ¿Qué es el object? ¿Qué es el objeto de la oración? Ok Who receives the action ¿Quién recibe la acción? Eso se conoce como el objeto Ok Now We have the subject Tenemos el sujeto, right? Who's the subject? Okay. Who performs the action? El que ejecuta la acción. ¿Verdad? El sujeto es el que realiza la acción. El objeto es quien recibe la acción. Okay. Entonces, ¿y la acción qué es? Ah, the action. Es el verbo. Okay. Then, algo más que tenemos que tener claro. We need the verb be. 
ver B. Ok, vamos a poner entre comillas. Sorry. As an auxiliary. El verbo be es un auxiliar. ¿Qué estamos hablando? Ok. Si es presente, estamos hablando que es am, is, are. Si es pasado, tiene que ser was, Where. Y luego con los otros tiempos yo le voy a ir explicando para slowly. Vale. Estos son la parte base, lo que tenemos que tener claro desde el inicio. El objeto quien recibe la acción. El sujeto quien ejecuta la acción. La acción es el verbo. El verbo cero estar va a ser un auxiliar. The main verb. El verbo principal tiene que estar in Past participle. Tiene que estar en pasado participio. ¿Ok? Now remember, this here is the past participle. Recordemos que esto que tenemos acá era el pasado participio. You remember, guys? This. This is the past participle. ¿Con estos conceptos estamos bien? Hello. Bueno, con estas ideas bases. Solo esas ideas. Sí. Yes. Ok. Recuérdese. El sujeto quien ejecuta la acción. El objeto, quien la recibe? Como por ejemplo, I call to the office for uh, Jaime. I call Jaime to the office. Yo llamo a Jaime a la oficina. Subject. ¿Quién ejecutó la acción? ¿Quién llamó? Yo. That's the subject. I. What's the action? ¿Cuál es la acción? El verbo. Call. Who received the action? ¿Quién recibió la acción? I call Jaime. Jaime. Jaime es quien la recibió. ¿Quién recibe la acción que es? El objeto. ¿Ok? Ok. Hasta ahí vamos bien. <coughs> That's all I need for today. Es todo lo que necesito para ahora. ¿Ok? I know that in the in the man, in the platform you are solving some exercises about that. Yo sé que en los manuales en la plataforma están resolviendo unos ejercicios. Si tienen dudas con los ejercicios, you can ask me. I will help you. Yo les ayudo. This explanation I will continue on Monday. Esta explicación la voy a continuar el lunes. Don't worry, we still got time. Tengo uh, according to my lesson plan, permítanme. According to my lesson plan, I got two classes that I can still explain this. Tengo todavía dos clases más donde puedo acomodar a cómo explicar esto, ¿ok? So, don't worry. Before anything else, ante todo, no se preocupen. I promise you I will make it simple. Les prometo que se lo voy a hacer simple. We will go like this. Slowly but steady. Vamos a ir así, despacio pero constante. ¿Es ok, guys? ¿Les parece bien? Okay. Yes, yes. It's, it's very interesting because Perfect. I will tell you something. Antes de tomar la asistencia de irnos, ya sé que es hora, le voy a decir algo interesante. Es interesante porque es una manera distinta de pensar. Ok. It will open our mind to something different. Nos va a abrir la mente a algo distinto. And actually, that's interesting. Y realmente sí es interesante because remember, languages. Uh, we also think different in another language. En otro idioma, no, pensar en otro idioma no es simplemente pensar en, con otro vocabulario. También es pensar de una manera distinta. And this is part of it. Y esto es parte de ello. We will enjoy it. Lo vamos a disfrutar, but we will go slow. Pero sí, no se lo voy a dejar ir así de sopetón, ¿ok? 
We will go slow. Vamos a ir despacio. Okay, guys. Thank you for your patience. Gracias por su paciencia. Let me get sí. the final attendance, please. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Present. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present, teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present, teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present, teacher. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present, teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Fátima Lisette Pineda Paniagua. Thank you, Robert. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present teacher. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Ana Consuelo Amayas Merino. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. See you oh, Monday. No, no, no. Le voy a enviar la presentación de antemano para que la puedan revisar, okay? So you can check it out. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm. My pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Have a good weekend. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good Monica. Good night, teacher. Good night, class. Catherine, don't burn. No se queme. No, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Brenda. How are you, teacher? I'm just fine, just fine, Brenda. ¿Cómo le va a usted? Cuénteme, cuénteme. Ay, el saso. Ayer oh. estaba bien, mal. La verdad es que, y sinceramente le digo que me dormí, no oí nada, teacher. 
Hasta Ay. mañana voy a escuchar la clase de, de, de ayer porque ahora no me quedo lugar en el trabajo también. Ok. La Bye. gripe me traía mal y como fui con el niño a Salvador a pasar consulta con él hasta allá porque lo tengo en control en el Bloom. Y pues me enfermé a todo dar. Gracias a Dios amanecí bastante mejor ahora. Ay, ah, qué bueno. Mira, hagamos algo. Revise las clases. Este, déles una repasadita tal vez el fin de semana. Uh -huh. Tome nota de sus dudas. ¿Y qué le parece si nos vemos la próxima semana por ahí del martes? Mm, vaya, ¿verdad? está bien. La agendo para el martes y así yo le aclaro dudas. Uh -huh. Y la veo los 10 minutos después de la clase el día martes. ¿Hay algún tema en particular que le gustaría que le aclarara ahorita con gusto? Ay, que yo prácticamente, teacher, casi, no sé por qué. No me no... diga todo. <ríe> Ay, no. Este, <ríe> me, yo estaba pensando, va, ponerle algo a usted. <ríe> Ajá. Espérame. Es acerca de que usted, algo en inglés, durante tu día. Let's. Whatever help you need. Eh, me decía de que le pronunciara o okay? qué. Ajá, que me, me pronunciara, este, no sé, como una conversación durante, no sé, en un instante del día que usted tenga lugar así para que yo le pueda contestar y así poder irme acoplando más al. Ok, let's do something. Hagamos algo mejor. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because uh, during the day I'm moving from here to there. Yo en el día me muevo de aquí para allá y de allá para acá. Why don't you text me? Usted escríbame anytime. Send me a hi teacher, how are you? Mándeme un hola teacher, ¿cómo está? In English. And I will be answering to you. Y yo le voy a contestar. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. That's not a problem. My pleasure. Okay. That's okay. That, that's going to help you to your fluency. Eso le va a ayudar a su fluidez. No problem. I will gladly do it. Con gusto lo haré. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. No, no, my pleasure. Don't forget. But don't forget to do it. No se le va a olvidar usted. I got many students, so hágalo. Yo yes. tengo muchos alumnos, así que a veces se me puede escapar. Pero si usted me manda, yo me acuerdo y se lo digo. Okay. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure, my pleasure. Con gusto, con gusto. Bueno, solo eso creo yo. Okay, perfect. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Disfrute Thank su fin you. de semana. Gracias. Bye -bye. Igual, Goodbye.
Well, let's see. That's it for tonight. Bye-bye. See you.